Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Nearly two years ago, Mark Zuckerberg really kicked off the metaverse craze when he changed the name of Facebook to Meta Platforms. Now, this was partly because Zuckerberg has always wanted to build a platform company and not be reliant on other companies to distribute his apps and products. But the real vision was that the purchase of Oculus, Control Labs, and other companies that would build the technology behind the metaverse was really the future of the company. He thought that's how the people were going to connect with each other in a virtual world. But that has not turned out to be the case. And a lot of the companies that were related to the metaverse have seen their stocks absolutely crater over the last few years. So what happened to the metaverse? That's what I want to dig into today. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And if you were a believer in the future of the metaverse, one thing that really needed to happen early on was adoption of the devices that were going to be interacting with the metaverse. So that's virtual reality headsets, that's 3D spaces, and the companies that are building those kind of devices are just not seeing adoption in the way that we may have hoped. If you were bullish on this sector, this is some information from Statista that they show the number of cumulative installed headsets, that's the dark blue line, and then the annual unit sales of VR headsets. Now, what's a little bit wild here is the unit sales from 2019, 2020, and 2021 were pretty flat. This is not a high growth sector. 2022 was a little bit better. And then they're expecting more growth this year. That would be going into the holiday season. That's when a lot of these headsets are sold, specifically from Meta. But the install base is pretty small. In the teens of millions, even by 2024, they're projecting about 34 million headsets out there. And keep in mind that a lot of those would be older legacy headsets that don't have the capabilities to do a lot of the high-end computing that metaverse applications would deploy. Now, this creates a real challenge for the industry overall. If people aren't buying headsets, then you're not going to be able to spend enough money to build out the content for the metaverse. And that's what we see with companies like Unity, Matterport, and even a company like Roblox, who was often talked about as a metaverse company. So the metaverse was a hot topic, but if it was ever going to gain adoption on a really widespread basis, that was going to happen during the pandemic, when people were at home, when they needed to find ways to connect with other people, maybe even in digital space. I think what's pretty clear that that did not gain a lot of adoption Meta itself is burning tens of billions of dollars per year, but Mark Zuckerberg has said this year with their focus on efficiency that they're going to cut a lot of the spending out of their metaverse project, their virtual reality project. They're going to continue developing it, but it's not going to be the same high spend market because they're just not seeing a lot of traction from a revenue and user standpoint. The metaverse really hit a chicken and egg development problem where what gets built first? Is it great software, great experiences, or is it great hardware that gets into people's hands? Well, you can't have one without the other. And if we're gonna have headsets going out first, you need to have those going out by tens of millions of devices. Remember products like PCs and iPhones, smartphones, those were adopted at an extremely rapid rate. The growth rate there was not in the hundreds of thousands of units, it was in the millions of units per year we're not seeing that kind of traction with the metaverse. So I think if your thesis on a lot of these companies was that they were going to be metaverse companies, that's really not going to happen. Even meta itself has really transitioned to a focus on artificial intelligence. We have seen Unity go back and focus on being a company that is a core game engine development engine for mobile games. And Roblox has gone back to being a gaming company. They're not, they are not talking about being a metaverse company in the way that they were. So this turned out to be, in large part, a bubble that just didn't have a lot behind it. Maybe there will be more use cases in the future, but for now, the metaverse is kind of a dead concept. It'll be interesting to see if meta changes its name back to Facebook, because I think that would actually make a lot of sense. What do you think about the metaverse and the lost hype there? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.